Welcome to the City of Sheridan Update. I'm Mayor Dave Kinski, and I'm happy to bring a new twist on the City of Sheridan Update to you, the Student Edition, a series of news reports brought to you entirely by elementary students shot and produced on their iPads with the able direction and assistance of Leon Schatz of Wayward Films with help from his assistant, Leah Clark. I know you are going to enjoy City of Sheridan Update Student Edition as much as I do. And with that, please enjoy the Student Edition. What do you like most about your job? Oh, that I get to help people. Sheridan's a wonderful town and I love to, to assist the citizens of the town. I'm Ryan Miller and I'm here with my partner Ariana Roth and we are doing a project on the policemen of Sheridan and we are here with Sergeant Tom Ringley and we are going to interview him and just ask him a few questions about his job. Okay. So how do you think your job helps the city of Sheridan? My job helps the city of Sheridan in many ways Ryan. Um, fortunately Lee, Sheridan has a very low crime rate so we're able to concentrate a lot on being what we call a quality of life enhancer. That, by that I mean we can make sure people feel safe living in Sher Sheridan and in can enjoy living here. Um, we do everything we can to keep the crime rate low and then we concentrate on fun things like the rodeo, street dance, the parade, and third Thursdays. Without law enforcement, how do you think the city of Sheridan would be different? People would be driving a lot faster without law enforcement. It would obviously be a quite a um, an escalation in the crime rate and people would probably feel the free to do as they choose and set their own laws. What is it that you enjoy most about your job? This is the kind of thing that I enjoy most about my job. I enjoy getting out and interacting with with kids and members of the community and doing fun things like this. Um, I'd much rather talk to someone like you and, instead of arresting somebody. We do feel, deal with some fairly unpleasant things um, in our jobs. Um, a lot of them are medically related and um, luckily they're few and far between. How do you become a police officer? It's a multi-step multi process, Ryan, to become a police officer. The first thing we do is we sit through an interview with the Civil Service Commission, which is a, a, a panel of three members. They ask us questions, much like you're asking me. Some are the, actually the same questions that we get asked. Um, once we're selected from the interview process, we go to D the Wyoming Law Enforcement Academy in Douglas, Wyoming for 12 weeks for a class that's called Peace Officer Basic, and then we go through something called FTO, which stands for Field Training Officer. That's a 14-week program when we're actually getting trained by members of the department. Being a police officer requires constant schooling. Once we're finished with our initial entry training um, in regards to the uh, Law Enforcement Academy and Field Training Officer program, we are required to get 40 hours of training every two years, and most of us get upwards of 100 hours every two years. So it's a constant evolving educational process. Um, what do you think is the biggest problem today in Sheridan that the police department has to deal with? One of the biggest problems, I would say, is the uh, abuse of prescription medications. Um, for various reasons, they're easy to get a hold of, and there's not the stigma attached to them as there are um, other narcotics, such as methamphetamine and cocaine. So like drugs and stuff? Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, what drove you to become a policeman? Or, you know. um, as with all of the police officers here, it's our desire to, to serve the community and, and to help out where we can to make people in, enjoy living in Sheridan. The biggest misconception that people have about policemen in Sheridan is that we are unapproachable. And we are completely approachable. We would, like I said, we'd much rather walk downtown and talk to people or go get a cup of coffee and have people come up to us um, than go out and arrest people. Thanks for your time. And that is the inside scoop on the policemen of Sheridan.
Well, there you have it. What's really happening with the placement of Sheridan?